Okay, another edition of the uh, Angry Photographer here. I uh, see a lot of YouTube reviews on uh, what's uh, the best Ni Nikkor lens to buy for your Nikon, whether it's Nikon production or otherwise. And uh, usually it's some moron that's uh, got more money than brains. He owns three or four lenses, and he shows you a lens or two out of his five lens collection. He goes, oh, this is the best shit ever created. You know, shut the fuck up. You don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, yeah, I went to photography school. I uh, worked at several camera stores. I've personally owned, over the many, many years, at least 200 Nikkor lenses. And I uh, wanted to give you... Uh, some tips and tricks and a couple secrets about what you should buy so you're not pissing your money away unnecessarily. Let's go over some of the secrets first. What are some secret Nikkor lenses that are, let's just be blunt, okay? YouTube is about being blunt and getting right to the point. What is the best stuff that you can buy for your money if you don't want to spend a fortune, you just want the best. Like, I want a fast zoom lens that's built like a brick outhouse and doesn't cost a fortune like a two thousand uh, dollar 24 to 70 like this one I have over here in the D810 uh, Nikon and here's the lens here's the secret lens that you can snag anywhere between 275 to 400 450 it is the Nikkor 3570 2.8 D uh, these aren't produced anymore it's extremely heavy lens very fast very sharp very accurate um, you should be able to snag one all day long between $250 and $400 depending on condition. The average going price is about $300, $300. Incredible optics. It is a push-pull zoom. Like I said, you can't tell it obviously from the video, but it is extremely heavy. So if you want to spend $2,000 on a fast 2.8 zoom, but you want high quality, this is it. $250 to $300. So remember, the 35 to 70 2.8, snag one on eBay for $250 $300. A lot of questions on the Icon uh, wide-angle uh, zooms. Uh, we have the 10 to 24 here and the 12 to 24. What's the difference? Well, you would think that you would want the 10 to 24 here on the left versus the 12 to 24 here on the right. Both of these are DX. By the way, the 35 to 70 will work perfect on FX or DX. These are X. Uh, these are DX only lenses. The 10 to 24 and the 12 to 24. The 12 to 24 was preceded it was uh superseded by the 10 to 24 here this is a little bit cheaper build quality it's made in china this is superior quality it's made in japan a little bit sharper a little bit better production so both of these are the same they're a thousand new basically plus or minus a hundred dollars i think it's 1099 doesn't make any difference 475 500 dollars on either one of them used perfect condition on ebay so why do you want the 12 to 24 instead of the 10 to 24 since you got a wider uh, you have a wider end on uh, your 10 to 24. A little cheaper, a little less sharp, made in China, superior build quality, made in Japan. That's the reason. So, what's another little secret lens that you could snag between 50 and 70 dollars on eBay that is just, well, it's just the cat's ass. And it's got a great macro setting too. Well, it's another D lens. See, 28 to 85, 3545 Nikkor. Also heavy, extremely well built, work perfectly on your FX or DX camera. You can snag one if you're lucky for 50 bucks. Typical going price is $70. This is a little secret gem. These two lenses are secrets. The 35 to 70 2.8 and the 28 to 85 3545 I'm showing you here. Both of these lenses are a secret because most people don't know about them. How you can snag them so cheap and uh, how they're such an extremely high build quality. Like I said, $50, $70 all day long if you want a few lenses and you don't have the money or if you're a bit of a cheapskate. Perfect macro, perfect 28-85 lens if you want to take something out and beat it up and not worry about it. Excellent optics, huge rear element, uh, excellent coating. I, I really know AR coating very well, having worked with lenses my entire life. So $50, $70, get the 28-85-3545 AF Nikkor. It's a D series, work perfect on your FX or your DX camera. So, what next? Let's talk about another secret lens that nobody really knows about. Let me reach over here and grab one. I've got 17 or 16 lenses out here for your consideration. I'll lift some back that aren't worthy of consideration. Here's another secret lens that you should buy if you don't want to spend a fortune on a fast a zoom, like a 70 to 200, which of course is. $2,400 new or about $1,800, $1,600 used and it is 
the AF Nikkor 182.8 built-in metal lens hood excellent superior quality what's so wonderful about this extremely fast focus uh, it's actually sharper than the 80 to 200 in current production you can have this all day long for between 250 and 350 dollars so you've got a 180 millimeter work perfectly for FX or DX so remember if you're using this on a uh, on a DX remember you got 1.5 over your 180 millimeters, so you got 180 millimeters times 1.5. So anyway, 275, 300 dollars all day long, best money spent. Grab one of these if you want a perfect fast telephoto, excellent, great sharpness, made in Japan. There's another little secret that nobody knows about. What's your best zoom lens for the money? FX or DX, and everybody seems to agree, as well as do I. You can grab them for $375, $400 all day long. And that is your VRED Nikkor AFS 70 to 300, 45 to 56. $350 to $450 all day long. New, I can't remember what they are, kind of outrageous, but you can grab them used all day long for $350. Really, really fast, very silky. Um, I've noticed that it's extremely fast on a D5200, my D7100, and also my D810 over here to the left. Excellent. Very cheap, extremely high uh, grade optics. Very sharp, no pin cushioning either on 70 or 300 extremely fast focus highly recommend buy it at all costs get one used if you can if you know how to judge quality of lenses which i do some people don't they don't know whether they're getting a lemon or not whether they're looking at internal dust fog hazing mold etc etc obviously an eight an 85 millimeter for portraiture both for fx or dx i have a, a gilded series here your 85mm 1.8. I don't recommend the 1.4. Why? For $1,500, the cheapest one you can snag use is about $1,000. It's just not worth it. I'm sorry. If money's no object, I've got a 1.4 for 85mm, but I didn't bring it out here because there's no reason to show it. And if you're an amateur pro camera photographer, you do not need a 1.4 85mm. Just get a 1.8 for Christ's sakes, okay? You can find them used all day long for, here's a D-series 85mm the predecessor to it, 85mm 1.8 AF Nikkor uh, 350 to $500 actually typical eBay price right now is think about 350 to $400 in 85mm 1.4 D-series Nikkor what's another secret little gem to get that uh, uh, oh the most important lens to buy and they're only $400 new uh, actually, the five hundred dollars new, four hundred used. This is the most superior lens I have out of all of these, including this two thousand dollar twelve to twenty four over here, and this two thousand dollar twenty four to seventy here. Superior quality, optical quality, and this is a Tekina. Tekina one hundred millimeter macro, perfect for portraiture. Works perfect on FX or DX. You want this lens. This is the most superior build quality lens I have out of all of these sixteen lenses that I brought out here for you to see. You want this lens. If you don't you know, want to buy two lenses for portraiture, but you love doing macro, macro is really the hidden frontier of photography. I mean, there's nothing more exciting than seeing, at least to me, leaves and bugs and all sorts of little interesting things in macro photography. It's just so, so wonderful. Obviously, you have to buy specialized lighting for it. You need to get in close for the lighting. But you do want this Tekina 100mm 2.8. Very cheap amazing phenomenal build quality there are a couple fan pages dedicated to this lens alone it is just absolutely mind-blowing incredible now what is the sharpest lens out of all of these money being absolutely no object in other words money doesn't mean anything to you at all what blows the dog shit out of everything here out of the water and it's right here it's the 24 to 72 8 for fx work on dx also but obviously that's overkill it's sitting right here on the 810 body it's extremely heavy it's built like a tank. It will blow the shit out of everything else you've got. If you've got 30 Nikkor lenses but you don't have the 24 to 70 yet, then you're an idiot. Get the 24 to 70 and 2.8 Nikkor. Um, you can snag one used for $1,000 to $1,200. New, they're $1,800 for like B&H or Adorama. 
uh, blow your mind. You'll probably get rid of some of your prime lenses. Better sharpness on this at 20 and 24 excuse me, at uh, 24 and uh, 35 on my FX D810 then uh, 24 to 35 prime lenses so sharper and better on 24mm and 35mm and 50mm primes using this zoom 24-70-2.8 Nikkor then like for example this 50mm Nikkor Prime 1.8 so yes the 24-70 which you can actually go to Amazon or whatnot, and you'll see there's like 4,000 reviews. The average user review is like 4.8. It should be like 6.0 out of 5. You want this lens at all costs. If you got to get rid of some crap or spare camera body, you got an FX camera at all. If you have an X, here, let's make it really simple. If you have an FX Nikon camera, the 610, the, 70, uh, the 750, or the 810, or the D4S, which I doubt you've got one of those, because if you had one of those, you know that you want this fucking lens. If you have an FX camera you don't have this lens, you're an idiot. Okay, you can afford an FX lens, you can probably, I mean, an FX camera, you can probably afford the 2470. You want this lens at all costs. Get this effing lens. Was that clear enough? And of course, over here, I don't want to get it out right now because it's kind of hard to reach. It's the 12 to 24 with the bulbous fisheye. Probably the most fascinating second best lens to own. It is just fucking phenomenal. The only one issue, obviously, of course, outside of its phenomenal, lovely, exquisite, sexy nature, is that there is no front element protection for it. Beautiful, exquisite, lovely divine sublime if you only have two lenses you have an fx camera and you only were to have two lenses it would first be this one the 24 to 70 and the second would be this the 12 to 24 2.8 you knew this one's 1900 dollars used 14 15 1600 dollars it is just the cat's fucking ass it is all that and a bag of chips yes it's just fucking awesome excuse my language obviously here's the lens cap for the beast obviously no filtration possibilities although there is a really screwy rig that you can actually someone's build for letting you put filters on this but it's just screwy bullshit so ultimately it's nonsense although it does work so let's go over the secret lenses again backwards to forwards the Dakina 100 millimeter 2.8 awesome for portraiture and macro photography perfect for FX or DX the second awesome little secret you can grab for $50 to $70 is your 28 to 85 Nikkor with macro. Awesome fucking lens. Just a, and here's the number one secret. I call it a secret because really nobody knows about it. Unless you're a photographer and you basically have been through all the Nikkor lenses over the past many years and many decades. This is the cat's ass. If you don't want to spend or you don't have the money for a $2,000 24-70 2.8 like we have over here. Get this, perfect for FX or DX cameras, it's the cat's ass. Fast zoom, it is extremely heavy, but it is built like a tank. It's fast, it's awesome, it's the cat's ass. She won it, I said $300, 250 if you catch it on a deal. Typical going price is $300 to $350. Just as fast as this $24 to $70 for $2,000. $2,000, $300, okay, let's make it simple. $2,000... $300. $2,000. $300. Same thing. Is this sharper? Is it smoother? It certainly is. Actually, zooming and focusing on this lens is like scratching, is like touching your. <laughs> it's, it's like adjusting your privates while wearing silk underwear. It is just awesome. Not only is this lens just a cat's ass, it is so silky smooth. It's like wearing silk underwear. It's awesome. Anyway, for $300, get this lens. I don't care if you have all the money in the world. If you want something to take out and beat around, and you don't want to pack, well, you know, I don't have insurance on this, for example, you say you don't. It's like, well, I want to take something out that's fast and zoom. Get this. Get one of these. You want one of these at all costs. Go on eBay right now and fucking buy one. A 35 to 70, 2.8. $300. Right over here on the far right, here's the other secret. It'll be the last lens I go into. The Nikkor 70 to 200 mm 2.8 lens is $2,400, used about $1,800. This lens is still made. This is the D80 to 200 instead of 70 to 200. You can grab these used 
all day long for five to six hundred dollars. The cat's ass, extremely well made, just as a good build of quality, just as fast to zoom as a, as the seventy to two hundred. So you can buy a new seventy to two hundred for twenty four hundred dollars, and you can get a used eighty to two hundred Nick Core for five hundred dollars. Here we go. Let's get out this beast. Here's the last little secret. You want this lens. 80 to 200 zoom. Nikkor perfect for FX or DX cameras. Obviously it's a heavy beast. But it's awesome. And it's cheap. And it's Nikon. That's the AF Nikkor 80 to 200 28 zoom. Silky smooth, manual or automatic. This is a D lens. So, you can either spend $2,400 on a fucking 70 to 200, or you can spend $500 used. A new one of these is $1,100. A new one's $1,100. So, it's still less than half if you were to buy one new. This is still a current production lens, even though it's been made for ages now. That's the last little secret I'll go into. So, now, if you've actually taken my advice since I went to photography school and I worked in several camera stores, instead of pissing your money away buying shit that you later turns out that you find that, well, you wasted your money on stuff that you probably shouldn't have bought, I've given you some useful advice on what to own because all the reviews out there in Nikon lenses by some idiot that owns four or five lenses or this is their second professional digital camera, well, that doesn't make them a professional photographer. It means you're an asshole with an expensive camera. A professional photographer is someone that is a master of light and of composition. An asshole with an expensive camera like this is just an asshole with an expensive camera. Doesn't mean he knows how to use it, okay? By the way, the D8100 is just a cat's ass. It's so friggin' sharp, 36.3 megapixel. Incredible. Remember, the best out of all of these lenses of money is no object. Like I said, new, I mean used, 1100 new is $1,800, this is a 24-70, 2.8 Nikkor. It is just awesome. It's the shit. You want that lens. If you've got extra lenses that you're not using, sell them, get rid of them, and get the 24 to 70. Remember I pointed out to you the secret lens? That's the 35 to 70 2.8. Get the Tekina, 100mm 2.8, perfect for FX or DX. And between the two, on the 1024 or 1224 DX wide angle zooms, get the 12 to 24. It's superior build quality, superior sharpness, and it's made in Japan rather than slave labor in China. Which would you rather have? Something made by Japanese people that would rather commit Harry Carey than uh, make something incorrectly or made by slave labor in China? Yeah, that's right. So, have some secret information on what to buy so you don't piss your money away unnecessarily. And if you like this video, then uh, you can always send me a PayPal donation via that email that uh, is in the bottom of the description here. Thanks for watching. And once again, Opinions are not all equal. Some opinions are superior to others. That means I've got experience to give you a superior conclusion on what you should buy so you don't piss your money away. Not all opinions are equal. Some asshole with a camera or two that's on three or four lenses his entire life shouldn't be making YouTube videos on what you should or shouldn't buy because he has no basis for comparison on what's superior and what's inferior. So, intelligent choices, logic, not wasting your money. Once again, get a 35 to 70, 2.8, $300. Awesome. Get one. I don't care if you even already own 24 to 70. Get the 35 to 70. You want it. Just call it a beat around lens. It's a 2.8, 35 to 70 zoom for $300. Get it. And once again, remember the 24 to 70. At all costs, try to get it. Thanks for watching. This is another edition. <laughs> <laughs> of the angry photographer. <laughs>